immediately I can feel the difference in the handling so the handling is significantly more precise <laughs> So not a very scientific way to check the bike's weight, but uh, let's uh, do a comparison. So my own weight as of today is 70.2. So now we take Grizzle. And uh, so Grizzle turns out to be 8.1 kilos. And the Mercs 5 to 5. As you can see, the difference was uh, 200 grams. All right, so Mercs 5 to 5 is the first one to go. There's a bit of wind uh, going on, so I'll obviously will not be able to comment a lot, but uh, Okay, so uh, back to Grizzle and uh, I have checked the uh, video, uh, actually the voice was quite clear despite the wind, so uh, Insta is doing great job here, so and uh, immediately I can feel the difference in the handling, so the handling is significantly more precise with the Grizzle, although this sounds a bit strange, but it just handles like a sports car. I would uh, assume this should have been the other way around, but but it's actually not. It turns in like a like a track prepped BMW, and so this is interesting. Yes, the sitting position is a bit different and uh, it's just different. I can't tell you whether I felt a bit more comfortable on the Mercs, but, but it's actually not bad either here. So, I talk too much and I can see the heart rate is, is climbing, so... Huh, what is this noise? I picked up some rubbish from the road. But okay, this should not affect the, the speed a lot. It just feels so much more nimble compared to the Mercs. Amazing. It just feels like you're in, in control of everything and you can react to, to the road uh, conditions quicker. Okay, so a quick review from uh, driving it back to back and there's, uh, there's a bit of the difference in between those two bikes. So the Mercs is more like BMW 7 Series. It's uh, quick on the highway, it's comfortable and you can obviously ride it uh, for longer. And so the uh, problem with that one is that it uh, doesn't want to turn in. Uh, the impression is that it is as if you're driving a front wheel driven car and it's just uh, lazy to turn in and uh, or uh, you have the similar feeling if you're driving a rear wheel driven car and you have the positive camber on the front uh, wheels and so the sitting comfort is uh, very good and uh, overall i don't think you will feel uh, tired after driving after riding this bike for longer time 
And so the, when you switch over to the grizzle, immediately you can feel it's uh, much more nimble. The turning is perfect. The feeling as if uh, you're driving karting, or rather, if you translate it to the cars, it's just like driving the uh, BMW 7, or rather not BMW, because BMW is turning quite nicely, rather than you're driving uh, Audi A8, which uh, is not willing to turn in, in com and compare it to the BMW 2 Series with a little bit of the off-road package. So on the lower speed this turns in very nicely and uh, as the speed increases it still handles beautifully. But you can feel the um, more drag and you can feel more resistance from the wider tires and obviously the aerodynamics is a bit less efficient and so then uh, you feel that you need to apply a little bit more power to maintain the same uh, level of, of the speed. And so the seating comfort is a bit less uh, so than in the Mercs. If you need a cruiser, if you need a highway cruiser uh, with more comfort, then obviously the choice uh, goes to the Mercs. And if you need uh, something nimble, small and, uh, and fun to ride, then the choice is with the Grizzle. Thank you. But if you're looking for speed, then the Mercs 5 to 5 is a clear winner here, as in the same segment, same power, it produced 5% more speed.